In this video, I will tell you about the center line and center mark tool of AutoCAD and these are quite new tools which are added in AutoCAD 2017 version. So now here we have a circle, we have a set of parallel lines and a set of intersecting lines. We will start with this circle. Now you can find the center line and center mark tools on the annotate tab. So go to this annotate tab and here you'll see these tools the center mark and center line on the center lines panel now click on this center mark and select a circle or an arc so in this case we have a circle so click on the circle and the center mark will be added directly now press enter to exit this command now the default center mark has been added but you can still modify its settings so select the center mark and you'll see these grips now using these grips you can change the length of this center mark along all of its four sides here just like this and when the radius of this geometry changes the center mark will automatically change its size just like this now in a similar way you can add a center line also so here we have these two parallel lines now in order to add the center line simply select the center line tool click on the first line the second line and the center line has been added and here also the center line will remain connected to its parent lines so select any of the parent line and change its angle but when you change its angle the center line will also change accordingly. In a similar way, if you add a center line here on the intersecting line, then it will be added at the angle bisector. Now this will directly bisect the angle which this line is making here. And in this case also, if you change the angle of this line, or even if you change the gap between these two lines, the center line will change appropriately, just like this. Now in this case too, if you want to change the length of these lines, you can easily change it by using these grips. You can modify it just like this. And we also have one more command which is ch property command which can be used for changing the property of these objects. So type ch prop and press enter. Now select the center mark or center line whose property you want to change. So in this case, I'll select the center mark and now press enter. So we have a set of properties here that can be changed and you can use this chprop command on other geometries also and we'll learn about this command later on in the next module also. So for now we will only change one of the property which is line type scale. So here we have this line type scale. Let's select it and let's change this line type scale to 2. The current value is set to 1. Now press enter and press enter again and you'll notice that the scale of this line now changes and it will now increase. You can compare its scale with these lines here. So you can change some of the properties related to this center mark center line directly using the ch property command. If required, you can also change the properties of these center lines and center mark using the property palette and the property palettes can be seen by selecting the objects and selecting the property option from the contextual menu. Here we have this property palette. So we'll learn about this property palette also later on in the next module. So you can modify its properties from here as well. So this was all about the center mark and center line tool of AutoCAD.